Yo, everybody! Welcome to another episode of Dangar Rumpa V3 Killing Harmony. So, let's see. Previously, we were in this warehouse. Let's go on and let's head to the dining hall. Isn't this a lovely dining hall? And there's two people here. Is this a dining hall? A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school. But this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. So, let's see. It seems you have a witch hat. Nah. So are we stuck here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. But don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. jiffy. I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic. Because I'm a mage. A mage? Hmm, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Fall to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeno, the ultimate mage. But, I'm officially called the ultimate magician. Himiko Yumino. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. I mean, it makes sense though, since magic doesn't exist. Magic does exist. Huh? Because I am a mage. You're just a magician, right? Only on paper. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. J just a ruse? You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians, is where the world's magic lovers gather. I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. That's pretty cool. It's all a ruse. They're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But... I'm not a magician, I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. There, there, don't be sad. Well, well, you could show us your magic, then we would believe you. Oh, that's right, help us out with your magic. Take, it, take us back to when we originally... Magic isn't all powerful, I can only do so much. I, I see, then what can you do? I can choose the card you picked, pull out coins and release doves. Nah, yeah, if I got seri if I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. Friendship tag fragment. Yay. Well before we check our report book, let's talk to this other person here. Huh huh? I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Don't you know you can unblock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up spirit energy? Ah, I've heard of that. Pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you focus. I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Akido. Akido? Then you're... Oh yes, I'm Tenko... Chab... I'm Tenko Chabashira. Haya, the ultimate Akido master. Oh, I I always imagined Akido masters to be huge burly girls, but you're so cute, C cute. Ah, stop stop it! I I'm not cute. My face crinkles when I suck down a shake, and when I wet my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Uh um, I see. But I think you're cute, right, Suichi? Huh? Oh, right. What what's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerates try to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. You're right. That is way bigger. That is a way big. That is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Ah, by the way, what is this Neo Akido you mentioned? Neo Akido is an original form of Akido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. 
So your Aikido is all self-taught. Friendship fragment. The music just stopped. Alright, it came back. Now then, let us take a look. Alright. Miko Yumino. She likes small spaces and dislikes the ocean. Hmm. And she likes nunchucks and dislikes men. Quite obvious. And we met all these. Hmm. Alright. Okay then, is there anything else we need to examine? Rules. This looks like the rules for the dining hall. Dining hall rules. You may eat any food you find in the dining hall. Please take responsibility for all utensils and dishes used and clean up after yourselves. The dining hall will be locked during night time. Night time? So it's closed at night? Hmm. This monitor is way too high. Yep, we heard that. So I, I doubt there's anything else. Righty then, let's leave. Yep. Now then, where else have we not looked? The school store, right? -o. Let's go there. It's locked. I guess this doesn't open. Let's go somewhere else. Okay. Hmm. Where have we missed? Let's go back here. Around. That's the trial room, I think. And. Right. There's nothing here. Besides the gym that's already locked. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Right. Let's see. Guess we could try going the other direction. This school does give all the very greenery vibe, doesn't it? This way and up. We came from upstairs, did we not? Yup. Did we miss anything here? Nope, there's only those. Whoa. Alright, let's go back down. So, it's definitely somewhere here. Yeah. Let's go. Was this classroom where we met the robot? Oh, basement. What should we do, Suichi? You wanna head down? Uh, I don't know. The basement might be dangerous. This place is full of mysteries. Then let's proceed with caution. With you at the front. Ah, so I'm in front. I see. With hesitant, Suichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. And the music just stopped. It doesn't look very dangerous to me. Ah, well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. Suichi, you have quite the imagination, don't you? No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. Yeah, maybe. But we should look around the basement too. There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be careful. Yeah, you're right. Hmm... Well then, what is this? The library? Is it locked? No, it's not. Who will be here? Mm, another girl. As soon as I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Is this a library? There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, Suichi? No, it's just I was wondering if someone was using it before us. Huh? Someone? Ah, it's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. Mm, the globe. What a beautiful globe. That's all you have to say about this globe that is neon. That is like glowing. Alright. This looks like a ladder for reaching books on the higher shelves. Mm. Front bookcase. Front double doors. Anything else? Oh. Oh, another monitor. Alright then. Still got the front bookcase. 
there are a lot of there are a lot of books crammed in here, and they're full all in different languages too. How is anyone supposed to take a book off a, sh a shelf when they're crammed in like this? You you could just you from the top just pull them out. I guess. Um, are you an ultimate student too? Yeah, that's right. Huh? Is that it? She sure doesn't talk much. I'm Kaide Akamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm Suichi Saihara, and I'm the ultimate detective, I suppose. Jeez, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Yeah, yeah, you're right. And what about you? Maki Harukawa. Ultimate child give, caregiver. Maki Harukawa. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? Surprised? I don't look like someone who like kids, do I? Huh? Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. But but if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at ca taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. But they say kids are mu I'm very intuitive. If they like you that much, then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? What do you mean by that? Nothing. I, it's just, I grew up in an orphanage and got settled with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. Ah, by the way, do you know anything about the monocups? Yeah, someone's gotta be controlling them, right? Any ideas who it might be? How would I know? Well, fair point. Hmm, the monocups are definitely involved in our situation. Hey, boy detective, shouldn't you have already figured out what's going on already? What? Well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't do- he can't know everything. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Seriously? You think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group of capable What makes you think a group capable of that would let us just walk out of here? If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. Huh? Work to work together with strangers? You're a naive fool if you think we can end this so easily. And yet we are friend we got friendship fragment from you. And we left up. Oh she left. Our conversation finished. She quickly headed out of the library. That was kind of odd. She didn't seem like the ultimate child caregiver. Jeez, don't say that. Could be a fraud. Whoa! What did I just do? Whoa! That is cool. Seems like getting coins or some sort out of this. What was that? Hmm. Oh, they're back. Can I keep doing this? That's a cool feature. Hmm. Alrighty. Let's leave the library. And there's no music. Okay, before that, let's do... This. There she is. Um, she likes morning lake shores and dislikes winter lake shores. So basically, shores. Hmm. Right. So that's the way out. And this is the game room. Hmm. Why is this? It seems important. Yep, the game room. Game room. Whoa! And there's one. It looks like a game room. But this is a school, right? Is it normal for a school to have its own game room? It certainly is strange. Right. Let's see if you can do anything. No. Switchy. Sliding door. Guess that's all there is besides the other person. It's locked. Mm. It looks like it's locked. 
I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. Oh, I'm sure we are gonna be able to. Let's talk to you. Sheesh. What's a, what's a strange place? When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we had a game room. Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, right? Isn't that, isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yourself. Oh, oh okay. We may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here compared to Prince Compared to prison, anyway. Prison? What? But you're an ultimate student, aren't you? Hmm, that's an old story. Ro Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Ryoma Hoshi. Ryoma Hoshi? R really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down the mafia. You took down a mafia by yourself? The paper says he shot them through the head with his tennis skills and an iron ball. What the hell? Really? <laughs> so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used his talent to kill? But, but why would you throw away your future like that? <laughs> because I didn't need a future anymore. Huh? Yeah. No, it's nothing. It's not like me to talk this so much. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to walk walk up to a killer like me. As he said it, he turned his back to us. Hmm. What a weird individual. Let's see, let's see. Hmm. Likes Russians blues. The music, dislikes white tip reef sharks. The pictures on this are cool. I think the best picture will be Ryoma or Q1B0. Hmm. Alright then. Let's leave. Still have a few more people to find. And the music stop. It's always freaky. Right, so is this another library? Whoa. Okay, so there's two places we can enter. Wait, it only looks like there's one though. What is this? Huh? What's wrong? This door barely opens a crack. Was it poorly built? Well, nothing you can do about it. Let's search somewhere else. Hmm. The library? Why are we just in the library? Hmm, we were. Well then, it seems I retraced my steps without me noticing. Hmm. Alright. Oh wait, no, there's two entrances. Ah. So we're done for this basement. Hmm. Oh, we couldn't go through here before, right? Looks like the iron gate opened. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Oh, yeah. That is intriguing. Hmm. Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Suichi? This must be the entrance hall, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Which means... That, that door must be the entrance. If we walk through it, we can escape this place, right? Wait, wait, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Worrying about that is necessary. Isn't necessary. I've already examined the doors. Oh, uh... You wonder, who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My... My name is Korikiyo Shinguji. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Korekiyo, anthropologist. Please call me Kiyo. As an anthropologist, as a, as for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? Okay, sure. Anthropology studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. 
For example, certain aspects of birthdays or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through ri rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun though. Well, of course it's fun. It's a, it is a study focused on humanity. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Oh, um, I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Kehehe. <laughs> Kehehe. People are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep, and it turns out he is one too. Anyway, we can go outside if we go through these doors, right? You should find the answers to such questions on your own. The moment that your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Sh shattered? What does he mean by that? So basically, he just told us that the gate is locked. With no chance of escaping. How nice. Or oh, wait. Right, never mind. And before that, let us quickly check out our data. We're missing one, two, three, four people. Hmm. Oh. Korekyo Shinjui. He likes straw ropes and dislikes air conditioning. That is weird. Alright then, let's see. What do we have here? Sayara? Right then, I guess we are supposed to examine this. Th then, let's go! Oh, okay. Determined as I was, I just couldn't muster the courage to take that first step forward. To be honest, I was scared. Because, what if beyond this is just... Ah jeez, this isn't like me. Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I'm gonna go move forward. Kaide! Don't worry about it. Let's go, Suichi. I psyched myself up and with newfound strength, walked boldly through the doors. It's probably just another part of the school. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and... Wow... A, a cage? A wall? Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both cage and wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, behind, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire school. What is this? We're trapped? What's going on? Rise and shine, Ursine. And the fine mono tops. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell out. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. Bio! But it's so awesomely huge. I can see why it's called the end wall. End wall? Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. What are you talking about? Hmm? What were we talking about? Huh? Was someone talking? Was I talking? He he he. He he ha 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 ha. Stop laughing and explain yourselves. There's nothing to explain. This is simply how it is. So please don't bother. You can't get you can't get out of here. That wall has no entrance or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. An ultimate could probably climb its part way, but most of the time it's impossible. But they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help us! Eep! Please help us! E Eep! Someone, anyone, please help us! We're trapped inside this huge cage. Eep, eep, eep! I shouted as loud as I could, but for all my shouting, there was no response. Ha, huh. ha, huh. ha. Huh. Please stop, you'll hurt your throat! Yeah, scream all you like, no one can hear you anyway. No one can hear us? What, what do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Say something! 
one of you, just answer. Damn it. Mona Dam is ignoring them excellently because he refuses to open his heart. You think you can thank my fearsome bullying for them for making that happen? Now, now, let's all get along. Shut up! We are the Mona Cubs. We need to be tough and whatnot. What? What is this? You things. This school. What is all this? You bastards have. You bastards have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find out. Find that out for yourselves. But please watch your step until you while you explore. The school is still under construction. Under construction? I looked around. It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. It looks like they are still building some of the facilities here. Are they still in the middle of building this school? I don't think so. It seems more like they are, re re they are re renovating an abandoned school. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we set the Exisos on auto autopilot. Exisos? Once a part of a biker gang, the Exisos now work construction to support their wives and kids. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Their steering wheels are leopard print, and their dashboards are lined with arcade prizes. Seriously, knock it off you guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. So long, bear well. And there they go. But more importantly, is that is what they said really true? We can't escape. We can't go over that wall. And no one's coming to rescue us. But if I give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks. And as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination returning. Hey, Suichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him outside, upside his head. Just firm enough to get his attention. Ow! Suichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because of a war. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an exit. We no may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually, somehow. Everyone just have to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. And there's another person there, but meanwhile, it seems as if these cage is a very large hole. I'm pretty confident that we can escape. If we climb, it looks ginormous. Alright, then let's see. There is something here. We can't go off the path. Alright. Let's go talk to you. Yo. Jeez, how they even make this big ass wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. I wonder what will happen now if we can't escape then. What? Are you complaining? Huh? Quit complaining and grumbling, or you'll turn into a habit. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Huh? The universe? Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm... I'm Kaito Momoma, Momota. Luminary of the stars, even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. How about it? I'm an astronaut, isn't that cool? Y yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, not just anyone can get out there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. Oh, I see, you're so you're still a trainee. But I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? Then how did you take the exam? I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. That's illegal! Yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep shit. But the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway, because I aced the exam too. Of course. That, that's reckless. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait until after college. I wanna get to space as fast as I can. You sure haven't you sure have a lot of energy. Oh. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up. Not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them for yourself. There are no walls you can get over. Same goes for that one. So do you have any ideas? That that's not a problem. Um no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. Friendship fragment. Hmm. 
Still missing like three people. Hmm, likes high house plants and dislikes the account. Does anyone have overlapping birthdays? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Okay then, let's see what are we missing. Can head to the left. Whoa, now mine is blocked off due to construction. Let's head down this way to another cage. Hmm. What is this? Is this a ninja statue? It looks like one, but why is this here? Seriously, there are so many odd things. Alright. Let's talk to you. Looks like an explorer. Buck. Whoa, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um, excuse me? Hmm? Oh, thank you. Huh? Thank you? Oh, sorry for scaring. God, Gonta scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for the first time. So, like gentlemen, Gonta says thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh, right! Gonta need to make an introduction. Um, um, Gonta's name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. Gonta want to become gentleman. Being coming gen true gentleman, becoming true gentleman. Gonta's goal. Gonta Gokuhara. Oh, so you are Gonta. That's a really cute name. Re really? Th thank you. Aww, you're being actually pretty nice. Silly me for being so scared at first. Oh, Gonta scary looking, huh? Oh, sorry, that's not what I meant. No, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta caught scary since he was a child. Since you were a kid, huh? Kid Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. So, kid Gonta play alone. That's how Gonta came come to like bugs. But when Gonta really focus, it's easy to lose track. One day, Gonta go to the forest to find bugs. End up lost. That sounds rough. Were they, were they able to find you right away? Yeah, took 10 years though. 10 years? But Gonta fine. New family took care of Gonta. I, I see, I'm glad they were nice people. Oh, not people. Wolves. Wolves? But they really nice. Because of forest family, Gonta learned to speak bug and animal. As thanks, Gonta want to show Forest family what great gentleman Gonta is. Um, how is becoming a gentleman going to thank them for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, but no bugs. What, really? I thought it's understandable there are no animals, but no insects. That's strange. Not even one bug. You like bugs too? Hey, what's your favorite bug? What do you like about what do you like about them? Uh, no, no I wasn't saying like. Saying that I like bugs or anything. Then you hate bugs? What? You you hate bugs? Uh um you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Suichi? Yeah yeah, of course I do. I love bugs. Oh, okay, that good. No bad person like bugs. Yay. That was an experience. That was scary. Phew, yeah, I thought you were gonna die. Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be best to hide that. Well, now he looks happy. And I think that's the second, no, third last we need to find out. And he's this guy. Likes Archobots and dislikes bananas. Archobots are like spiders and those, right? Eight legged, I think. Alright, let's go to this cage looking thing. Shrine of Judgment. And there's one more person. Take it the last person will be somewhere else. Oh yeah. Forgot about this. Can we do anything else? Yeah. Let's destroy all this. Right. Right. Is there anything else? No, nope, let's talk to you there. How are ya? Hmm, 
My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate ya artist. Yonaga. Angie Yonaga. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we are in right now. There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with ya. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. So, says Atua. A Atua? The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Ah, well, she's suddenly devout. Do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Hmm, I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atua's the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. How divine! I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your art? Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? An offering? Every Monday and Wednesday mornings on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting the, out the trash for pickup. Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I mean a pint or two of your blood. Don't worry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. What about you then? Huh? Me? Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on. It won't hurt one bit. Ah, wait, wait a minute. Don't run away. Th this girl is so weird. And friendship. Yeah, hmm. What did I just do? Not sure. Alright then. Let's see. Where is she? That pasta? No. Likes avocados and dislikes humi humidity. humidity. Alright. Let's leave the shrine of judgment. And head to the last place I think we need. Oh, never mind. It's not here. Alright then. Nice to meet ya. Let's leave. This place sure has a lot of greenery. We can't go that way. We can enter this place. What is this? Dormitory? And that's the last person. And... This building is round and has a lot of smaller rooms inside. Yeah, and they have all our portraits for us. Very nice to see you again. Why, hello there. Sorry to intrude. What is it this time and what do you mean by intruding? Cause this is your home, you bastards. We finished setting up the showers, now you can go pee. Why don't they just use the toilet? Huh? Even for number two? Wait, do you go number two in the shower? Ew, that's gross. So long, bear well. Yeah, they have porches for us already. What do you mean, our home? They mean for all us to live here. See, there are 16 doors. Perhaps a room for each of us? I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Well, none of us. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. None of us are, right? Whoa, looks like blood. And you are the final link. I fail to see their objective. Huh? What do you mean? If they are holding, if they are holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits reasonable for kidnapping us. Culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? Sixteen ultimate students have been gathered here. But why? What's the reason? Pardon me, I have not introduced myself yet. I am Ki I'm Kirumi Tojo, the ultimate maid. Please let me know if you require my services. Kirumi Tojo. Wow, the ultimate maid sh sounds like a co really cool talent. <coughs> ah, wait, I I've heard of Ki Kirumi Tojo. An ultimate with incredible intellect and strength, working as a private maid. I've heard that her work is so perfect, she can complete any request given to her. Ha what? She's that amazing? Please, you are exaggerating. I will not complete my any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. 
but being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its own. I've also heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to several foreign dignitaries. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a super maid. Moving on, what do you intend to do now? That that's a tough question. Um, what should we do? What would you do? What would you do, Kirumi? I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desire of others. So please think about what you have desire for yourself and what you desire from me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I'm here to serve everyone. Even in this situation, she's more concerned for others. Well, she is the ultimate maid after all. And that's the last of the friendship fragments. Not gonna give for the first round. And she left. Dang dong bing bong. Was that the bell? Yep, we can check before we move on. And... Yep, likes cleaning and dislikes taking days off. Is that the bell? Kaede, look, the monitor. Whoa. Hi, thanks for the for bearing with us. Kept you bastards waiting, huh? Everyone, make your way to the gym, please. The ultimate opening ceremony can finally begin. Phew, we finally finished our preparations. You do realize you just read your lines backwards, don't you? So long, farewell. Gym? Opening ceremony? Kaede, what should we do? What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same thing. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Well, we know what's about to come. Let's quickly leave this place and head for the gym. Let's go. Where is the gym? I don't remember. Wait, what? It seems like everyone heard the announcement and went to the gym. Alright, so it's not that way. The gym? Is it upstairs? Downstairs, I mean. Nope, it's on this level. Alright, then. Seems I'm not. Oh, it's right there. Wow. Alrighty. No, it's the warehouse. Where is the gym? Where is the gym? I have no idea. Is it here? It seems it's on the other side at least. Right, there it is. See it. Let's make our way. So. Before entering, we enter the gym, let's end the episode here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and see you next time. Goodbye!